<laughs> Freaking classic cabin fever over here. <laughs> Looking out the window, the razor's not even going to come from that way. It's going to come from over here. In my mind, it's coming from this way. Uh, I don't know why. We're T minus about 20 minutes, though, so <laughs> he's going to be a while. I get the excitement, though, man. I'm excited, too. It's a big day. It feels like we've been waiting a long time. Long time. It's not really been that long. Not that long. You gotta have one. No, I have to have one. I will not have anything else but this. Like that's what I got. <laughs> oh no! Like yep. this is what I have to have. Yeah, that's it. Oh my gosh! We just heard it's here. I haven't even seen it yet. Okay, yeah, it's here. <sighs> I'm excited for him, man. <laughs> There's a semi truck outside. He says. Full freaking semi truck, dude. Let's go over there, bud. Let's go talk to this guy. What the hell, dude? Oh, yeah, geez, dude. so cool. Now this is a little bit. Yeah. You need to pull up a little bit. Oh my gosh, dude. Okay, you usually jump it off of this back? I say you just jump it out of the back. <laughs> just jump it out of the back. You should do it. Oh my gosh, Leonardo. I feel like you're overwhelmed with emotion. Did you guys see that words. thing, dude? It's just in the back of the truck by itself looking freaking. He was nervous to even see it. Like when you guys were walking up, like he didn't even want to look at it. He really? So yeah. Come on, Nick. Dude, this is a whole truck dedicated to one unit. Seriously, how crazy is that? The 168. Awesome, man. There are probably more on this. What's this guy doing here? He's gonna back up his bed. Probably gonna to yeah, the thing of it. the bed back. And... I say he should have hugged it out cool. of the back, but we talked I... about it. He wants to, you know, go through the checklist first. I don't blame him. It's his new baby. I would have sent it, no problem. I'm glad it's the right color. Nick and I discussed Colin Polaris and switching the color on him just for the fun of it, but <laughs> right. in hindsight, that would have been pretty rude. You're not wrong. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, I was kind of excited to get one in a crate and put it together, but this is good too. This saves a lot of time. Right. She's basically ready to go. Oh yeah, bud. Does it feel like you're back in Nevada? It feels like I'm back in the motherland, brother. <laughs> oh man. Man. It's got the little plastic protector on the screen. You better sign for it here, bud. Yeah, oh, yeah, Real fresh, bud. Real fresh. Yeah. Cleanest it's ever going to be right here. Yep, this is it, Nick. <laughs> it's only going to get worse from here. <laughs> never be cleaner than this, bud. Oh, oh never be cleaner than this. We need to get this in the garage. I need to look at this real quick. Yeah, get her in there under the lights. Check her out. Let's go pull her in, bud. Yep. <sighs> Freaking Leonardo. <laughs> Here she comes, bud, for the first time. Pretty awesome. On the side-by-side -side block proving grounds. Feels like we've made it somewhere. Got a machine delivered brand new to us directly from Polaris. It's neat. Super happy for him, man. This is not not cool. Super excited to see what kind of stuff he's going to do to it. In it. Not, I mean, to it as well. But Right. The whole deal. Big moment here. First time going into the Doug First garage. First time in the freaking Doug garage, dude. Let her eat. OMG, dude. <laughs> From freaking Nevada to here, bros. We made her. We got it. It's over. My day's done. I go home and go to sleep again. Yeah. I wish the weather was a little better out there, but uh, it's still a beautiful day. Got the fangs ripping. She looks big in here, dude. Gotta say, looks yeah. big. Yeah. It's not the same old razor. I know we've said it before, but you're not wrong. Oh, man. Front end looks good. <laughs> Just <laughs> pulling up your Wranglers over there for the ladies. Uh, they're fleece, bro. How do you feel about it? Oh, there's the fleece ones. The fleece. So what are your thoughts, bud? Dude, look at this. Look at this. It's right there. <laughs> I didn't think this day would come. <laughs> it's right there. Oh, man. It's right there, Doug. I see it, dude. I see it. It's real. It smells new. This is cool. It smells new, looks new. Got yeah, all the you know, protective coatings on it. It's got that new razor smell, Nick. <laughs> yeah. 
All right, let's do some uh, inspections, bud. So you're checking the oil, big boy? What did it say? Safe. Oil looks good, yes. Yeah. <laughs> you're so excited. Yeah. I'm the eight-point cage is wild looking in the back. Yeah, it is. Give it a real fast once over. Just look at the major components and make sure the bolts look good on it. Right. I got something that you might want for it. Yeah. Just to really let the people know. Let the people know. Let the people know. Where should we put these puppies? That's yeah, that's where that's they the gotta go. go. Just want to let the people know, you know, where she's from. <laughs> <laughs> and where she's gonna go. Let the people know. It's a big moment. Yeah, this is like making this machine ours, right? Yeah, it really is. It's cool, man. It's cool. Yeah, I, it really is a complete machine. It's kind of cool. They got all the little barcode stickers on everything for the manufacturing. Look at that. Hell yeah, dude. That looks good. Good work, bud. Yeah, good work. Yeah, even, you know, the lights up front got barcodes on them. We have 2D barcodes on them. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The shocks got them. Hmm. It's cool, man. <laughs> the gas cap's got one on it. Got to assemble it somehow, I guess. Yeah, just tracking and traceability and it's neat. Classic SAP, bud. Yeah. S-A-P-E. Man, what a beautiful rig, dude. Giving her a little fuel, are you, bud? Turns out they don't send much fuel. <laughs> Pretty <laughs> aggressively saying she no was, fuel. She was on the low fuel light. Gave it a little stutter when it first started, too. <laughs> Classic Polaris, cutting corners from the factory, <laughs> and put a couple gallons they in. They say put in 91. We're putting in 93, bro. Woo! Oh, yeah. Top set all that 85 they put in there. Yeah, <laughs> oh, so it's officially 168, eh? 168, dude. <laughs> yeah, today in Auburn is known as day 168. <laughs> <laughs> Feels like the 168th of January outside. <laughs> Doesn't last year, 70 sun. I was mowing the lawn with no shirt on. He's not, through, he's not wrong. Well, it doesn't flow off the tongue quite as well as 110, but 168. It's a good thing. Straight, dude. <laughs> 168. I like to go home, go on the internet, watch some videos, and master the art of sewing. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, the field is horrible. <laughs> Like, the worst it's ever been, I think. Worst possible day to have this thing delivered in terms of weather and ground conditions. Yeah, you're basically screwed, but, but uh, there's no way you're not test driving it, so... I mean, maybe did we... Did you go that way? On the high ground? No, I did not go over there. Start with a little cruise up and down the street, put some yeah. heat in it, maybe, and then just kind of do it what you feel. We should save that for sure. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. What do you got there? You know what I it's a serial S number of the whole unit. 72 DX Indy Red. Your VIN right oh, on there. Brother. Yeah, that's pretty neat, man. There you go. <laughs> sure Steve will be in here in about seven seconds. <laughs> Throw in the trash. Get out of here. So we're looking through the paperwork and this is a build sheet that came with the unit. It's got all the different parts and the serial number of each part printed off right with the machine. So when you see the 2D barcodes that we were showing you on the part, that's kind of what this is for. So they actually tie an individual part to the machine for traceability. So if there's any issues down the road based on the vehicle VIN, they know exactly what part is in it and what build lot it came from, where it came from, so they know whether it's got an issue or not. So that's pretty cool stuff. That's pretty badass, man. That's something that uh, I've not seen other companies do. I'm sure they do it. Maybe not, though. Maybe yeah, not. you just don't know unless you get one delivered brand new to you. So Yeah, Polaris is, uh, you know, but make that's, the most stuff, and this kind of stuff happens when you make the most that's, stuff. That's pretty high-end manufacturing stuff, so it's cool. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, fire this thing up, man. Go for a rip. That's time. Can't take over 3,000 RPMs, bud. Break in mode. <laughs> I talked to my friend Greg, dude. He works at a Polaris dealership. He said at least 300 hours on it before you even go half throttle. <laughs> so he knows. He you working on the sweat just trying to get in? <laughs> it's just too excited to focus, man. <laughs> you got it. Uh, the only These fancy dude. freaking things. What does it say? Sub zero. Controlled decelerator. Look at that. Energy absorbing four points. Is a controlled decelerator? Yeah. 
They appear to just be normal four points that are hard strapped to the bar, but... Is this similar to the usable travel? <laughs> right. Probably the same guy, right? <laughs> you better shut up. <laughs> oh, please, no. Oh! oh. <laughs> Good luck, bud. Oh yeah, get her warmed up just a little bit, put a little heat in the belt. Yeah, he gone, dude. Send it. He gone. Sounds really cool. <laughs> what the hell is this Ooh. crazy ass? This is a good one. What a psycho <laughs> He seemed a little nervous about giving it the giving it the juice right off the bat, so I thought he might cruise it a little longer, but not true, I guess. I support it. He's giving her full 110. Heck yeah, dude. How's she feel, bud? She's got a lot of power. A lot of power? <laughs> <laughs> oh man, sounds good. Looks good. She's got a lot of power. <laughs> <laughs> you came by at a speed. Relatively unseen on this road. Probably somewhere around 42, 43 mile running, an hour. Are Solid 45 no? mile an hour, bud. Are they running or no? Oh, they're running, yeah. <laughs> a beast like this is not meant to be confined to the street. I'll say that. But not wrong. It looks kind of gradually worked into it. Yeah. Until it was full throttle. Yeah. That's a good idea. Wow, oh, he's giving her the juice big time. <laughs> yeah. I think he's cycling the brakes a little bit, trying to... Give her the super juice. Break him in. <laughs> Exciting times ahead in this thing, man. Exciting times ahead. I still can't believe it's here. Yeah, feels a little... Feels a little unreal. Just having a turbo right here? Yeah. So fun. Oh, you deserve it, man. Thanks, Lord. This thing's awesome. Can't wait to hit the dunes. Can't wait to hit some trails. Do a little racing with the X3. I mean, it should be no problem. X3 is a real man's machine. This is just a child's. This is like an <laughs> overgrown, like, toy car. <laughs> X3 is based off, you know, just real uh, desert. Farts and assholes. I mean, what is this thing? It's just like a 900S with some longer arms on it and the turbo. Yeah, I talked I to the guys at Polaris. So was a good unit. They actually had a bunch of uh, 800S frames laying around. That's where they got this from. <laughs> Extended? Extended them, put some big tires on it, fool all the idiots out there. <laughs> Unicorn blood on it, dude. <laughs> yeah, I don't uh, want to be the one to say it, but this thing's got to make its way into the field. You think I'm, so? Oh, bro, oh, absolutely. <laughs> it's brand new. Absolutely. Uh, like, uh, I mean, I don't want to. I don't want to be like ganging up on you, but if it was mine, it would be in the field. <laughs> Let's take a look at it after she's been run for a second. In the sun. Let that turbo cool down a little bit. Get the get the quick walker out in here. What a fucking stallion! This is what all the YouTubers do, right? The walk around. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, over here on this Turbo S, we got the new Coyote tires, co-designed by Polaris and ITP. Sit on a set of 15-inch Pro Armor wheels, non b lock to save a little bit of money. <laughs> on the back here, we got a new redesigned exhaust. It's a, it's a pinch bent, which is excellent for flow. Creates a lot of turbulence on the inside core and the radius on the exhaust. Keeps the, keeps the exhaust blowing out quickly. Over here, we have a brand new redesigned doors. that look exactly like all the other doors Polaris ever had, with a brand new redesign from the ground up. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, this gauge is uh, brand new for the Razor. It looks like the one in the general, but it happens to be in the Razor this time, so here it is. And uh, yeah, it's, it's a really good machine. All new from the ground up. <laughs> All right, you gonna get this thing dirty? <laughs> <laughs> What's happening here? I mean, I'm not too proud to take this thing for a rip. It's a good machine. No, I mean, we rode the hell out of one of these things in Nevada. And you know, all joking aside, this is a badass unit, so. Yep. You know, a lot of haters out there want to say stuff, but I mean, it's no YXZ, but <laughs> uh, Can-Am logo on everybody be 
creaming themselves right now. Maybe without a manual transmission. <laughs> Basically what you guys are saying is you miss it and you're glad to be back in it. <laughs> I, I'm not not glad to be in it. <laughs> hey, hey! Bunch of freaking characters, dude. <laughs> Doug. <laughs> they secretly love it. They want Polaris deep in their blood. Or their blood. They feel it through their veins. That's yeah, quicker than I remember. So when we took off down here, it felt pretty good. So, yeah. and I mean, you know, from what I've seen with brand new units before, is you do actually get a little bit of power as it breaks in. So, oh yeah, I oh, mean, yeah. it'll get faster with some miles as you know rings take a seat. And she'll pick up a little bit. So, so proud of you, Nick. Happy man. Yeah. <laughs> We're trying this stuff here. Not a plug, but just to try to help the clean up. You know, a little mud X sure anyway. You don't want to wait until Friday. <laughs> nah, we're doing it. Start and win. <laughs> Nick's about to put it in the mud. Wow. The field is pretty much it's, as watery as it's ever been. It's as bad as it could be, but you get a brand new Turbo S delivered. I mean, you're not going to not rip it. So. Right. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> It's not giving a single heck, dude. What's done is done now. That's the best way to do it. Just tear that band-aid off. You're not wrong. Oh my gosh. Thing sounds gnarly, man. It does. It sounds really good. It roars. Couldn't really hear that out in Nevada. Out here with the sound echoes, you can really hear it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're not that used to having turbo razors ripping around out here. We don't really have a ton of them. But they're loud. The circle, yeah. I think he's gonna hit the whoop section here. Oh my god. <laughs> yes! Yes! That was awesome. I'm proud of you. God. You sent her, bud. Why don't you send it again? Listen, did you I'll get be that? Honest with you, it's we'll not that bad. <laughs> it's just wet. It's just wet. Yeah, you're fine. It doesn't even have mud cake on it. We were pretty far away with the jump, so why don't you hit her again? Wow, he's sending it big time. This is the muddiest the jump's ever been. Cool man, it looked really cool when you bombed down through there and the mud was just blinging. It's cold. Yeah, yeah, I'll bet. I mean that was snow yesterday. Yeah. Oh you guys got some good sand over here. It's not really <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's pretty good, dude. Yeah. You should do it one more time. I uh it's hard to catch traction. 
Yeah. It's almost uh, zero traction. Maybe some donies then. You gotta do some four-wheel drive donuts, dude. Think it'll do a cyclone? I don't know, it's not that slippery out here, but. Wow, it really was pushing it looked like. Yeah, that grip's good. Looks like a lot of grip. Yeah, it looks like there's a lot of lateral. And I'm just getting mounds of freaking. <laughs> Thanks, Doc. <Hey. laughs> I say you hit that jump one more time. That was pretty entertaining. Give her one more and uh... give her one more and maybe uh, look to getting yourself in near a hose. Whoa. <laughs> this is worse than I thought. Oh, man, I mean, I imagine it being worse actually. So, I think the shoe really? okay. Well, this is awful. I yeah. yeah. Just giving her the beans. Oh my gosh. <laughs> How you doing, 110? Uh, he was, you, yeah, you got it worse than Jack did. Jack's yeah. not that bad. He was cleaned up real nice when he came to the house earlier today, too. <laughs> I'm gonna go see my girlfriend later. <laughs> uh. <laughs> it's, you look tanner though, which is Thanks, good. Thanks, man. I appreciate it, bro. Oh, yeah. So, what are your thoughts on the Turbo S, bud? What are your thoughts on the Turbo S? Uh, it looks good. It sounds good. Watch out, I gotta spit. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> looks good, sounds good, man. Runs good. Runs yeah, real good. I can't wait until this is done, dude. I'll send this thing over some freaking machines. It looks like it, uh, it lands really well, too. Can you tell? Yeah, it's landing on all fours. It's yeah, pretty this, flat, isn't it? Despite yeah. horrible conditions out here for jumping, it seems like it's jumping real flat. Really so. good jump. Well, congrats on the new machine, bud. Yeah, man. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah. I was born in the mud! In the bridge! <laughs> uh, I think it's good that you just went ahead and communicated to this machine what it can expect for the rest of its life. Yeah, that's a good point. So, you know, just everybody get on the same page. Right hey, you can't be fake. Ride it, dude. Right. Right. All right, well, uh, yeah, congrats on your new machine, Nick, and, uh... I'd like to thank, uh, all you guys for all your support to bring us to this level. Yeah, seriously, I mean, blog fans got us to the point where, uh, you were able to get this thing, so... Yeah, yeah. Awesome. All my people at Popo for keeping it real. You know who you are? Really 110. Can't wait for Nick it. Nick Leonardo for being a friggin' Leonard. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for that, I guess. Jack Sal for uh, supporting my habits. <laughs> <laughs> I say you let these tires burn on the way out of here. I'm ready to see it. Two wheel fill, huh? Oh, sure. Well, that wasn't a great idea. <laughs> he got me so oh, no. hard, dude. Oh no! Got me so <laughs> the hard. The camera's destroyed. <laughs> oh my god! He uh, aimed right towards us. Oh yeah, he just slid right out there. What a dick! A real didgeridoo. Yeah, yeah, we're cleaning it. Nick's cleaning it. Everybody Freaking relax. Hard -o. I guess we'll get the test to see if that Dynamics and uh, Ride Command screen is waterproof. Feels waterproof. <laughs> Feels waterproof. Give her a little squirt. Let's see what happens. That looks like it's waterproof to me. Yeah, it looks, feels waterproof. 
Wow, it got muddy quick. I mean, there was points where chunks were flying. Big chunks. Yeah, that we happened. Got the back here. That happened. Got the big guns out now. <laughs> 